Welcome to 31st December's Godly Blessing. We are nearing the 2023 year and there are certain things which we have learned throughout the year through these blessings. I hope you have learned a lot and you have earned a lot in your mental, spiritual basis. And now we are going to enter into a new year and God wants us to enter with a lot of happiness and with a lot of respect. A lot of people are looking for respect in this world today and sometimes they find themselves stuck in earning that respect or sometimes they find themselves trying to demand respect but God is giving us a very beautiful answer today. How shall you earn respect from people around over here in your life whether it's from your friends, family, colleagues, business partners or anything and obviously when you have respect automatically the happiness comes in and you can also give happiness and only then earn happiness. So we're going to talk about all these aspects over here in today's blessing. Let's go ahead and let's explore God's words. God says, May you be a bestower of happiness and receive respect from everyone by having humility. Now that's the answer. By having humility and so greatness. The sign of greatness is humility. Nobody wants to be around a person who is bragging, posting about themselves. Whether you are in a spiritual endeavor, whether you are in a financial endeavor, whether you are in a health related endeavor, wherever you are in, nobody likes anyone to be bragging. So God says to the extent that you have humility, you are accordingly great. Now there are levels of humility. And over here also when we are trying to share this beautiful Vardhan with you, there's a level of humility which needs to be there. It doesn't mean that I know everything over here which has been spoken in this Vardhan, on this blessing. There are certain things which you might be able to understand much more better than me. And we need to humbly accept that. God says that's why, because you are constantly full, only then can you be humble. Full of what? Full of wisdom. Full of God's love. When we have God's love, when we have God's respect, that means we are doing things as per godly guidance, then automatically we will not ask others to love us or to respect us. Doesn't that make a point? God says, the more a tree is laden with fruit, imagine a complete tree of mango full of fruits. How will you find its different branches? Going upwards or bending downwards? Right? God says, the more a tree is laden with fruit, the more it will bow down. So it is humility that serves and those who have humility receive respect from everyone. Humility serves. If you want to do the true service, then it has to be done with humility. A lot of humility. No expectation of taking anything back from anyone in terms of finances in terms of name and fame, in terms of even a praise or appraisal, nothing. Only then can you say that I have served someone. Or even saying that I have served someone will be talking about I. It's not humility. Let's say God used the qualities, God used the talents, God used the virtues which he had bestowed upon me to get the work done. How about that? Doesn't that make you just an instrument? So that's why God says, no one gives respect to those who have arrogance. Search for that within you. That's what God says. He wants us to search for that arrogance within us because if we have that arrogance, nobody will respect us. They run away from such people. Those who have humility are bestowers of happiness. They can give happiness to others because they're not looking for praises. They can praise others. They're not looking for name and fame. They can give others name and others fame. They're not looking for I want it. They're, they're think, looking at how can I give to them. Everyone experiences happiness from them. You would love to be around that person. Everyone wishes to come close to them. That's the most beautiful part. Everyone wishes to come close to them. Nobody likes to stay away from them. They want to be around them. How about that? Are we such people? Are we such souls that people look up to us? They want to come to us. They want to contact us. They want to be with us. Or they want something from us. Or are we the ones who are desiring and hoping and wanting 
from others. Now the tables need to be turned and it's up to us to turn the tables. That means instead of taking, we become givers. How do we do that is what we learn in Brahma Kumaris. It's not just a simple step that you start going out there and helping people around and say, I don't want anything. No, it's a very deep and subtle part because you might get tired of helping others not knowing that we still have a little bit of ego within us. So this can only be fulfilled by the Supreme Creator. When He gives us love, when He gives us respect, then we stop expecting love and respect by doing things for others because we are receiving it from Him. So first, how to receive from Him is what we need to learn in Brahma Kumaris. And you too can come over and learn the same thing in Brahma Kumaris, Godly Spiritual University. It's just a few steps away from your house. Go ahead and find out with this Om Shanti.